Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Stand together with me, please. We'll turn to hymn number 200. Hymn number 200, we'll just sing one verse of each of these tonight, but excited about it. He's a wonderful Savior to me, amen? Hymn 200, let's stand together on that first verse. I was lost in sin, but Jesus rescued me. He's a wonderful Savior to me. I was bound by fear, but Jesus made me free. He's a wonderful to me. Number 17. 
It's one of the few songs I've found with the whole gospel message in it. One day. <laughs> Wonderful song. Let's sing that first verse together, please. On that verse. Hymn number 17. One day when heaven was filled with his praises. One day when sin was as dark as could be. Jesus came forth to be born of a virgin. Dwelt amongst men, my example is he. Living he loved me, dying he saved me. Buried he carried my sins far away. Rising he justified, freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glory has saved. Very good. One more song before the choir sings hymn 419. Hymn 419. Another request tonight. On that first verse together, hymn 419. Sound the battle cry, see in the foe is nigh. Raise the standard high for the whole Lord. Gird your armor on, swim firm everyone. Rest your cause upon his holy word. Thank you. you. May be seated. Please be in prayer for our choir now as we sing a song entitled, He Pilots My Ship. The soul of man is like a ship that sails on the sea of time. The winds may blow, the winds may blow, and rock this ship of mine. But the reason my ship will never sink, and today it's still afloat. My compass is his precious word, and Jesus pilots my boat. I won't sail these stormy seas anymore unless Jesus leads the way. My soul pulled into safety's port, my stern was torn apart. The bow of the vessel was so badly crushed, since waters flooded my heart. I had sailed so long on life's angry waves, with my cargo fear and despair. Then I called on Christ's name, and he lifted the blame, now he pilots my ship everywhere. I won't sail these stormy seas anymore unless Jesus leads the way. I will never drift so far from the shore again hear what he has to say. I belong to a fleet that sails today on a glorious one-way trip. Will that save the on shore to sail no more for Jesus pilots my ship?
Amen. Let's stand together and turn to your hymnal now to hymn number 87. Hymn number 87. It's a powerful song. That same pilot will always be there just when I need him most. Amen. Let's stand together in hymn number 87. Hymn number 87. Just when I need him most. On that first verse. Just when I need him, Jesus is near. Just when I falter, just when I fear, ready to help me, ready to cheer. Just when I need Him most, just when I need Him most, just when I need Him most, Jesus is there. This is, was my favorite tonight that I chose. And how many know uh, this was Dr. Lee Robertson's favorite song? How many knew that? Dr. Lee Robertson, this is his favorite song. And interesting, how many know this song? Okay, just a couple. And uh, I like it, though. He used to sing this song. He liked to sing. His mom wanted him to be a singer. And uh, he became a preacher, but she was disappointed. She wanted him to be a singer. But he had a good voice, evidently. Now, that's all secondhand. I'd never heard him sing this song. But uh, I like it. I like the thought that gets in your heart. He's always near, but when you need him, he's there too, isn't he? Amen. In a special way. Look at the second verse. Just when I need him, Jesus is true, never forsaking all the way through. Amen. Friends sometimes aren't true. Family sometimes not true, but Jesus is true. He's always there. He doesn't forsake. Giving for burdens, pleasures anew. Just when I need him most. Just when I need him, Jesus is strong. Even the strongest of us, we're weak so often, aren't we? Bearing my burdens all the day long for all my sorrow, giving a song just when I need him most. Just when I need him, he is my all. Answering when upon him I call. Tenderly watching, lest I should fall. Just when I need him most. Don't you like that? I like that song. Got a good tune to it as well. Maybe let's sing one more of the verses, shall we? And yeah, no, I know we got others to sing. Let's sing that last verse, him, uh, verse number four. Just when I need him, he is my all. Just when I need Him, He is my all. Answering when upon Him I call. Tenderly watching, lest I should fall. Just when I need Him most. Just when I need Him most. singing hymn 153 in 153 <clears throat> how firm a foundation you saints of the Lord in 153 let's sing that first verse for this Fifty-five, and number fifty-five. There's going to be a roll call one day. When the roll is called up yonder. I'll be there. You don't need butter for this roll, amen. When the roll is called up yonder, on the first. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saints of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Jesus.
Jesus is exalted. Every knee shall bow to honor him. Praise the Prince of Heaven. Join the angels in the seraphim. Though he rules creation, even though he reigns above, on this throne on high, Jesus came to die. Taste his wondrous love. Jesus sticks closer than a brother. Every moment he is near. I know he never will forsake me. He has conquered all my fear. Jesus sticks closer than a brother. On his love I can depend. King of kings, King of kings, Lord of lords, Lord of lords, conquering son. Though all of these, he's my very best friend. Glory to the Savior. All my praise shall be to Christ alone. He is my foundation. He's my rock and he's my cornerstone. Like a mighty fortress, he is evermore the same. Yet he died for me on my Calvary. Now I bear his name. Jesus sticks closer than a brother. Every moment he is near. I know he never will forsake me. He has conquered all my fear. Jesus is closer than a brother. On his love I can depend. King of kings, King of kings Lord of lords, Lord of lords conquering son. Though all of these, he's my very best friend. See? 
tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known before the throne of God above I have a strong and perfect plea a great high priest his name is love whoever lives and pleads for me my name is graven on his hands my name is written on his heart i know that while in heaven he stands no tongue can bid me then depart no tongue can bid me then depart when satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within upward i look and see him there who made an end to all my sin because a sinless savior died my sinful soul is counted free for god the just is satisfied to look on him and pardon me to look on him and pardon me behold him there the risen lamb my perfect spotless righteousness the great unchangeable i am the king of glory and of grace one with himself i cannot die my soul is purchased by his blood my life is hid with christ on high with christ my savior and my god with christ my savior and my god with jesus christ my god amen, amen. well done thank you so much first kings three would you go there with me first kings chapter three and let me share my testimony for the night we're going to read just a few verses, but I'm just going to really talk about one. But uh, Solomon's come to the throne, 1 Kings chapter 3, beginning verse 1. And uh, we see him in his faults. We know women was a fault for him, all the wives he took. But we see God and his love, his mercy, his still using a man that has faults. Aren't you glad God will use a man that has faults? Yeah, doesn't mean he proves of it. But it's interesting as you read this passage. First Kings chapter 3, you found your place there? Look at verse 1. And Solomon made affinity, alliance, a league with Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he had made an end of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places because there was no house built under the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David, his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. And the king, Solomon, went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for there was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. Hmm. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. 
And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father. And I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people, who cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad, for who is able to judge this, thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon had asked this thing. God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing for wisdom, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou would walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon awoke. Behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offerings offered peace offerings, and made a feast to all his servants. And in the following verses, you'd see the example of his wisdom where the one, the two harlots came with a child and on like that. But I like that, verse 13, I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked. Don't you like that? That's our good shepherd, isn't it? <laughs> I've given you that which you didn't even ask. You didn't even know you need, maybe. And because of what he asked. But I want to zero in on verse 7. It says there, And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father. Talk about big shoes to fill. The man after God's own heart, the greatest king that Israel ever had, David. What a king he was. Certainly was not without fault. But was a man of great faith, a man that loved the Lord. Sweet psalmist of Israel, mighty warrior. And he says, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. And from what I, of course, we spoke on this morning as we talked about Psalm 23 and God leads us as a shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Thinking about uh, this thought, I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. I tell you, it's a great place to be with the Lord when you can come to him as a little child. Remember how Jesus even said as he sat, the child that he took in his lap, he sat them before them all and said, except ye come to me as a little child. See, before the Lord, there's no great men. Before the Lord, there's no great people. Before the Lord, we're all just children. <laughs> we all are so lacking of wisdom. We all are so simple compared to his glory, compared to his wisdom. We all are like those sheep we talked about this morning. Uh, none of us are exempt from that. Uh, so prone to wander, prone to our way, prone to uh, pig-headed, stubborn uh, ideas and thoughts about life. And the Lord again comes to us and lovingly leads us and guides us. Uh, so simple we need it that God says, just follow me. That's all. You don't have to make all these hard decisions. You don't have to beat the enemy. You just stay near me. I'm the conqueror. I'm the victor. Uh, you're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. All those things. My thought from this was just this, and that's such a comfort to me, that when we don't have all the answers, which is all the time, <laughs> we can be like a little child, like a scared child that... Uh, people around, the bustling, something happens, they're fearful, they grab on to mommy, grab on to daddy, uh, grab on, take the hand of the Lord, if you will. I'm a little child, I need you to lead me. Or take my hand, I need your guidance. I don't know how to go out or come in. 
Now, Solomon wasn't a dummy. Uh, Solomon had learned lots of things. God chose him for this position. He was smart enough to know how little he knew. A fool uttered all his mind, the Bible says, right? A wise man knows how to learn and listen and keep it in till afterwards, as the Bible talks about. But think of the wisdom of this request. Think of the wisdom of this statement, and I am but a little child. I know not how to come out or come in. You give me a job that is bigger than me. And I must say, I feel that way many times, and that's something that all of us, we ought to feel as we enter this great family of God, this great opportunity to be a part of His body in a church. This is something that's bigger than us. It's, it's too great for me. I, I cannot do spiritual work. How about you? I need the Lord. Lord, you need to take my hand. I need to be led by you. I, I, I don't know what decision to make. I don't know which way to turn. Would you take my hand, Papa? Abba, Father, would you lead me? Daddy, would you guide me? Think of the closeness he wants us to have. As a little child, we can come to him. That's such a comfort to me. I don't know what it does for you, but it does a lot for me. That's a great place to be with the Lord. You say, Lord, I, I, I don't know. All I know is you. I remember the Old Testament there. I preached a message on it. Oh, it's been more than a year ago. Where they came, they didn't know what to do in battles. They were facing what they thought was going to be defeat. And they come to the Lord and said, Lord, neither know we what to do. But our eyes are upon thee. As a church, may God help us to have that heart. Lord, we want the mind of Jesus Christ. We don't have all the answers. We are like little children. We want you to take our hand. Lead us. You are wisdom. Guide us. That's my prayer for me. Would you pray for me? I'll just take the Lord's hand. Let him guide me. Let him lead me. How to come out, Lord, or go in, I don't know. The most simplest thing. I can't do it. I need you to guide me. All every step of the way. Let's bow in prayer.